On? On. There we go. Uh, what do we got? Um, what do we? What are we super hard on? Anything? Not a whole lot currently. I the thing that I'm thinking the most about is all the cool things that could be in like uh, what's it called, Modern Horizons. And it's not because I want to. Ooh, I want all these new like functional reprints of expensive cards because I totally want a Tarmogoyf. That's a X three. I want it to be Tarmogoyf, but an X three. No, they're not going to do anything. They're not. Like they're not. No, it's they're fine. not. But that's just something that I would like to see. But I think the reprints. I think I'm excited for because they're going to have reprints of cards with luck that I can f- get in foil to put on my EDH decks. I'm thinking stuff oh, like... Oh, yeah, 100%. I think, like... Yeah, I'm thinking Ruination. I'm thinking oh, Mox Monkey. Yeah, Ruination be good. Because those are cards that could go into modern, right? Like, you could... could s- maybe? Well, uh, what is it called? Gorilla Shaman? Yeah. They'd probably be good in modern. Yeah, like, it kills... What, what, but here's it the thing: kills like, affinity cards. Here's good. the thing: I, we we are not modern players. Um, I would say that I follow modern and I discuss modern with my f- magic friends that don't exclusively play EDH. Yeah. Um, so I know what decks are good, and uh, I I read and whatever, whatever. Who yeah. cares? Um, Affinity and hardened scales and all those things are are part of the the format. Like, are they trying to introduce cards that knock um, good decks down so, like, tier 1.523 decks can have a chance? Or do they print cards that are um, going to bolster tier 1.523 decks to make them better? If it was me... Or are they, they doing... Gonna, they're doing both. I think if it was me, I would try and bring more decks into the format. Because I think that the thing that... When people look at a format like Modern Legacy Vintage, you see, here's the archetype. I'm playing Rug Delver. I'm playing Dredge. I'm playing Blue Control. I'm playing Burn. It's, a, it's the deck. And there is a number of decks that you can play and be competitive. Yeah. And I think if they could use Modern Horizons to let more decks kind of just be there, even if they're just tier 1.5, tier 2, whatever, but you could have that kid that wants to play aggro loam. That's the deck I'm super big on. Then yeah, do it. Yeah, Onslaught uh, Cycle Lens, right? We were yeah, talking about that the it, other day. Yeah, and Those it, don't it, exist in Modern, yeah, right? And, and if you print those, you could also print like an Astral Slide, and then you'd have Astral Slide. That's a deck. It, it is a deck, and you could... Play it in modern now. Like there's, lot, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what gets me. You know what gets me is like, oh, I could just play all the, all this different cycle lands and astral slide and this and that. And it's like, what are you playing? Five color? What's your commander? Oh wait, there is none. <laughs> there is no commander, right? It's <laughs> yeah. like what? But that's no what commandy. I would. I would use it to bring more decks into the fold because <clears> it <throat> encourages people to, to try different stuff. And when you can encourage people to try new things, I think that it encourages more people to venture into the format. I think that's why Commander is so popular is because you can just You build can do some anything, sh- yeah. You can build you whatever can you want anything. out of what you have. And it, Modern isn't like that. You can't just show up at a Modern event and play a pile of cards you own and have any chance. That's the thing. So I think that maybe if you have a pile of Modern Horizons card that you owned, and a few other things, you might be able to build a tier 3 deck, and then you could invent a few, invest a few dollars and take it up a bit. I think that that's what I would do with Modern Horizons. It could be like the inclusion where it brings people into the fold. I'm sure they'll fuck it up somehow, but... Well, here's the thing, though. I mean, they... <laughs> Is it? I don't want to say it's zero risk. I'm sure it's not. It's not zero risk because you're printing new cards. They're going into modern. They're going into legacy vintage, right? They're going into commander. They're not gonna. There's not zero risk to fuck it up, but um, <clears throat> it's very low risk because yeah. you're not gonna fuck up standard, which is like your entry it's level your, format. That it's is bread the, butter format. Like let's let's call standard the cheapest. The, the least expensive format to get into, right? Sure. Maybe you could argue Commander's the least expensive format to get into. 
because you could you could actually sit down and say, hey, I'm just playing like Jank Ass Commander, right? And, yeah, and, they have and, those things. We and can have talk less about. than a hundred dollar deck. Like yeah. what? What did we build the other a couple weeks ago? Garna. It's like forty nine dollars. Yeah, that's a totally totally sick ass deck. Yeah, right. It's um, Fifty bucks. Um, I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> Modern Horizons is fine. It's great. I'm excited. I'm for excited it. for to see what it'll do. I can't wait to do a set review. I can't wait to do like open flippy with it because yeah. it's going to be so badass. Like, can you imagine if they did like if they print more call cards like Cabal Therapist? I can't wait to just rage against that set because yeah. Cabal Therapist is goddamn awful. I can't wait until they print like what's what's the big conversation days counterspell force a will that's what everybody's talking about for modern right i can't wait until whatever they, they which one, one whichever one of those three cards is is it i can't wait to play open flippy with it and be like days drink your whole drink <laughs> right because you know it's going to be an uncommon counterspell is going to be an uncommon force will probably be a mythic in which case you're drinking your whole drink anyways yeah but they already did force a will in eternal masters right i mean they're probably not going to do force in... Which one do you think they're going to do? Oh, dang that. I was hoping you wouldn't ask me that. No, let, you think about it. I'll tell you what I think. I, I, I already know what I'm going to think, but you already I said think that they're going to do counterspell, and I think that they're going to do counterspell because force of will and days are two of the defining cards of Legacy. And unless they're trying to kind of just be like, don't even bother playing Legacy. They're not going to take the big boogeyman cards that define Legacy out of Legacy. Because when you build your deck in Legacy, what are you thinking about? Like, oh, someone's going to force me. I'm going to get forced today, so I have to have some kind of contingency plan. That's why Cabal Therapy is a good card. How do I beat blue decks? Yeah. It's it's not necessarily force of will. It's how do I beat blue decks? Yeah. Right? Because blue decks have Brainstorm, and blue decks have force of will and on days. the back of Brainstorm. Brainstorm is actually the card that defines Legacy. It is, mm. it is Brainstorm. And maybe leave a comment below if you think I'm wrong. But I think, uh, based on my knowledge of the format, again, I read, I listen, I, I engage. I think that Brainstorm is the card that defines Legacy. Because you've got 70,000 different fetch lands. You've got, probably Whatever. you've got... Between you've got between eight and twelve fetch lands in your deck, and four brainstorms. That's supplemented by the fact that in a bunch of major recent legacy events, there's been decks that run three force of wills, maybe a fourth one in the in the board, three forces, always four brainstorms. So you ask yourself, how do you beat? Four brainstorms, aka blue decks, because they all run four brainstorms that can just dig, dig, dig with brainstorm, right? And then shuffle, dig, shuffle, dig, shuffle. Fetch lands aren't as good. Nothing's as good as you, if you don't have brainstorm. Yeah, brainstorm isn't as flashy. Oh, hundred percent not. Yeah, like it. it you're right. you everything you said is correct. But I think that, like, when you sit down, you, nobody sits down and thinks to themselves, "I'm building a deck." How do I play around Brainstorm? You don't even have to be a be a blue deck. You just have to be a Brainstorm deck. How do I beat Brainstorm deck? Because Brainstorm deck is like that's it. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm all, I'm all, a little bit all over the place with this, but I mean, none of these cards are as good without Brainstorm. Um, and in modern, when you don't have dual lands, um, you've got shock lands. So, so days is less good with Shocklands when decks like Arclight Phoenix and and Burn, like Mono Red Burn, is a deck in modern. As it should be. Right? So it's like um, days is less good against that deck because what am I going to do? Like bounce my island? Bounce my whatever, Watery Grave? Oh, I need to play it next turn so I can still do XYZ thing and take two against Mono Red? That's, yeah. that's, that's actually really bad. We well, don't do that against Mono Red. You bounce an island. Well, you don't have islands. Then you're building your deck wrong. You might be, but if that's what you have, you probably don't have islands because you got blown out by a fucking blood moon, and now <laughs> yeah, you're just right. sitting there going, "Well, I guess I'll just shuffle my cards like an asshole and hope that you go on tilt and yeah, man. Scoop. Like I don't know, like brainstorm. 
Brainstorm's awesome. They're not going to print that in modern times. No, that There's isn't no. going to be in Days, modern Days, I mean, is less good than it is in in uh, Legacy because you don't have dual lands. Um, Here's the, here it is. Here it is. What is it? Oubliette. Is oh, it a dude. Uh, is it going to be rare or is it going to be common? I don't, is it going to be even in the set? 100%. It's common in 100%, Arabian Nights. 100% is in the set. It's it's in the set. It's a it's a popper staple, right? But it's a staple, so is it rare to sit, to drive people to buy the product? Or is it an uncommon? Or is it a mythic uncommon like skewer the critics where you can open boxes and boxes and get zero of them? Skewer the critics is a common. It's a mythic common. <laughs> mythic common. A mammon. Mythic common. <laughs>